Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new Jeffree Star Concealer and Setting Powder. I am super freaking excited to share my thoughts slash first impressions with you guys on this. So before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload and you can become part of the hive. We have so much fun on this channel, guys. You do not want to miss out. And without further ado, let's get in the video. Alright guys, so before we get into the video, if you are not new here, there are some things that I want to discuss with you, um, kind of like life updates, etc., all of that boring slash awesome slash cool stuff. Um, if you're new here, I mean this is for you too, I guess you can kind of get an update um, on how things are going and this hair needs to stop. All right, so mm, I'm trying to think like if I want to do the good or the bad. So bad news is I am super freaking sick. I mean, I have probably gotten sick almost a week ago now and I am really, really, really still um, fighting it and there's not really much I can take or do for it. I've been doing like essential oils and homeopathic stuff. so. If my voice sounds really terribly crazy, it's because I can barely breathe. So on top of being sick, I have really bad allergies, if you do not know that already. Um, so it's like the whole world is just like hitting me at once. Um, and the other thing is, <laughs> the lighting in here is horrific because I broke my other box light. It is broken. So that's actually two box lights in like two weeks. So I am down to one box light and a ring light. For now, I am going to order new lights. In the meantime, just bear with me. Hopefully you can see this. Let me know below. It looks clear on the monitor and I'm hoping that the camera, I kind of set the um, lighting up just a little bit on the camera so you guys can really get a good picture, but I don't want to miss another video. I know I've missed two videos and this rambling is going on and on, but the big news <laughs> that I wanted to tell you guys, though, one of the biggest reasons that I've missed the video is I've been super freaking tired because I'm not sleeping at night. Uh, come to find out I am pregnant. <laughs> Me and my husband are really super excited. Um, I was kind of nervous and freaked out a little bit at first, but I'm really excited and I wanted to be able to share that with you guys, but I've been so tired and so sick and I just, have you ever felt like the whole world was just hitting you at one time? Like, guess what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna beat you down for like a little bit and then we'll let loose and you'll be fine. Um, that's kind of where I got to. So like I didn't do a video Friday and then I didn't do a video Monday and here I am. I'm doing a video for Wednesday and I'm just like I'm here for you guys but at the same time I'm like I would like to take a nap with my pregnancy pillow <laughs> so if I look like I'm gaining weight in the face or things are changing that is why that is the life update um I can do in the beginning to middle of December and I'm really excited to share that with you guys. Uh, comment below and let me know what you think. Um, if it's negative, you could just keep it to yourself because I don't really give a shit. But um, I just really, I really love you guys. You guys are always so awesome and just so freaking uplifting. So I thought, you know what? What better day than a day that I feel like I just want to lay in my bed and cry. <laughs> so <laughs> all of that out of the way all of that out of the way. Let's get in to this new concealer and setting powder. So I got the concealer and I got, goodbye bye. And I got the setting powder right here and it comes with like this handy dandy postcard um, that I really don't do nothing with and all 30 shades. So I don't know if you can see that but doesn't really help me any either. So the concealer was $22 and the setting powder was also $22. So total it was $50.33 with shipping. I got C14 and Topaz as the setting and concealer. Um, I kind of just went off of what he had on his site and kind of some videos hoping that I got the right one. Um, I will tell you I did use the concealer on my eye today under this like beige tan um, eyeshadow. I just did a simple kind of eye look. I haven't finished because obviously I have to put concealer and stuff on. But um, 
I'm gonna let you know I'm not, <laughs> I don't think I picked the right color. I'm not sure what happened, but we'll get into that in a minute. So you get the concealer, which is in this like beautiful, I'm not gonna lie to you, it is very Sailor Moon, it's very super freaking cute. Um, the packaging is very unique. Um, you can tell that he took a lot of time to do this, however, from a makeup, I guess if you are a makeup artist, this is kind of, it's kind of childlike. Um, it's not going to fit very well with all your other things. Like you just want like a normal concealer and just like a normal tube. Um, but it's cute. I feel like it's kind of collector, but I really wish honestly that it would have been a more normal handle. I can tell you that three times now I have stabbed myself with the top of the star. So, warning, this is sharp, um, but I think that he did put a lot of work into it. I know that there was a lot of issues and robbery and blah, 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 blah that I don't really care about, but I mean, I feel bad that that happened, but it's just drama that I don't really want to worry about right now. So I think that you can tell that he took his time and like a lot of effort went into this, but I just, to me, it's... I don't know why, to me, it, it just screams like it's childish. I don't know. I mean, uh, people are going to like it and that's fine. It's cute. But I think that if you're a makeup artist and you pull like this out of your bag, I might be like, what is that? What are you putting on my face? So here is the doe foot applicator. It is, um, it has a hole in here so that you can, it actually is the same doe foot as like some lipsticks. I want to say Smashbox. I want to say Smashbox. I'm not really certain, um, but it holds a lot of product in this hole here, so you can get a lot of swatches out of it. I will go ahead and swatch the color for you. Um, I smelt it when I first got it. I can't smell it right now, but it doesn't really have a smell to it. Um, it feels like it is medium to full coverage. Uh, it It's like a yellow. I got one with yellow undertones, but when I started to buff it out on the eye, it kind of turned greenish. So I don't know if that happened to anybody else or if it's just my crazy eyes or the lighting because I work all my lights, but it almost looked like it had a hint of green, which was a little bit weird to me. So um, that I was kind of like eh, about, but the consistency of it isn't so bad. Um, it's a little lighter of a coverage than I would prefer. I was really hoping that if he would have came in with like a to swipe you're done but that's definitely not what this is going to be because like I said I did put it on my eye and it was not very full coverage so you have the topaz setting powder and this so I don't get this by the way like this box is there's nothing here so you went all out for like the shimmery sparkly crazy magic star concealer and and then you gave me a blank box with with a wand on it I don't know. It, it just the whole packaging kind of threw me off a little bit. I think it's pretty, but again, it's kind of childish. Um, I won't lie to you. This almost reminds me of the Kylie Jenner packaging. It's just very lightweight plastic. Again, more kid-like makeup, but it's cute. This one isn't so bad. It just has the J and the star. Um, oh, oh. And mine is either open or... I don't know what's happening. Nope, mine is not open. So something happened, there's a sticker, to where, I guess in shipping, or maybe it like snuck out of a hole. I don't know, I can clean that up. I was told that it smells good, so. I can't breathe. So the hint that I'm getting is definitely like a sweet smell. So it does have a good smell to it, which I like, because I love my Huda setting powder, but that stuff has like a florally, nasty smell that no one wants to smell and the topaz one has more again like that yellow undertone to it because they do have more warm tones under my eyes so I can kind of just show you this but again it's just the setting powder so I may not be able to yeah you're not gonna really be able to see it I almost wish that his concealer packaging was as simplistic as the powder packaging because to me again I just feel I don't know I just feel like it's just very childish so I know that there are gonna be a lot of people that are angry with me about that but it's my opinion and I'm gonna share it with you like I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm gonna be honest with you oh wait a minute oh my god 
so it's not it's not the holes at all so when I blow like that all this powder comes out and there's nothing there right so where's that powder coming from it's coming from the seal it's not sealed all the way so what's happening is I don't know if you'll be able to see it but what's happening is it's coming out of here and here so when I blow on it just going stuff is coming out and there's nothing there so that's fantastic um yep that is definitely not sealed all the way so maybe less time making this cute and fancy and more time making this a little bit more durable um that's kind of upsetting but we'll move past that and see how the product itself works now that we're done that so let me go put on some foundation and then i will be right back all right guys so here's my foundation um, so I will not lie to you being sick. I'm pretty sure I have a fever. So the beauty blender on my face felt felt pretty freaking nice um, But moving right along so we're gonna go into the concealer now that I have my base set down Boom. And I'm just gonna do like I normally do Yeah, I think this was way too yellow for me. So I may have to go and get another one Now on his YouTube video he said one swipe should do like all my spots. So let's see if one swipe does all my spots. And also, he said that it will not dry um, too fast. So I will have time to do all this and I don't have to blend it by section, which is very nice. Because your girl does not like to do it, blend it, do it, blend it. All right, I'm going to flip it over because I'm running a little bit out of product. Okay. So it definitely, this one holds a lot of concealer, I will tell you that. Like, I have done all of the tribal art on my face, and it is, it's not bad. Alright, so we are going to pounce on our face with a beauty blender. See, again, it's just, it's actually not bad. It's just like, a, you have to build it. It's definitely a build, more buildable coverage. I don't remember if he said that it was that or not. So do not crucify me if that's something he said. I don't remember honestly but I know that it is a buildable coverage I do remember hearing that I just don't know if the if it's like a supposed to be a full coverage this is definitely not full coverage I could tell you that but whether it's supposed to be or not this is like really light so again I like my concealer to be basically blinding um the brighter the better so because I don't really use concealer to um conceal I just use it to brighten my under eye and different spots on my face uh so for me like something like this is like really really good because it is like hella bright like this yellow I was like hello <laughs> but um I know that like he has a lot of colors so if you don't, you know, if you want something more close to your skin tone, I know that that is definitely an option. Um, and I really am going to go back and probably get a different, like a bright one just like this, but less yellow. Just because for me, I think this is a little too yellow. But I like that he did so many undertones. Ooh, she's bright all right but I am gonna go in with a second layer because I still feel like I can see some of the skin and the little black black circles I got so we're just gonna go in with a little bit here and when I say a little bit basically I mean cake it on your freaking face and I have it again I'm gonna try to like bring it up my nose more thin because that time I did it like a lot it's a lot I put on my nose and I usually don't put so much on my nose so I'm going in again for the second time just to kind of build it up and see what I'm working with here so it, it is definitely a buildable coverage which I am a big fan of Woo! <laughs> look how bright this is <laughs> this is so bright can see me from the stars this looks so bad I put way this color is way too bright for my skin tone we're gonna go in with the foundation sponge and just kind of like to try to get it to simmer down because it seems to be really really bright which is not a bad thing but when you're like me and you fuck up like you gotta just fix it 
because I look like just Casper. Woo! But I'm gonna go ahead and bronze and contour, I think, a little bit to counteract that because I fucked up. <laughs> this it was at this time that she knew she fucked up. Mm. We were really super excited to kind of be at that level of like parenting where like your kids are older. You know what I mean? Like, heck yeah, no more pull ups, no more diapers, no more none of that. You know, they can play on their own, do their own thing. And then the pregnancy. So there are going to be um, significant difference in age, but it's really not that bad. All right, so let's go into this jacked up setting powder I got. And I was like, well, I'm thinking maybe I'll return it. But then I was like, forget it. The process of returning things just irritates me to no end that I'm just like, you know what? Fine. I'll just keep it. I will keep it and I will get another one. I'm real big on doing that. All right, so I have a Jeffree Star setting brush. So, so you guys know. He's all Jeffree Star today. I'm just kidding. I need to calm down. So I'm not going to lie. The smell of this is fantastic. I love it a lot. So that looks really good. Okay. I will not lie. Like that is. That is nice. Like this whole. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I was too quick to judge with the whole, the packaging looks like a 12 year old designed it. But the product itself is fantastic. I'm, oh my God, it smells so good. Why does it smell like so? Now I want cotton candy. I think that, um, I don't think this is bad. I really, I like this. I think it is a perfect tone for my skin tone. I think that it looks really nice. And it, it just so, it like, it just really brought, like, that concealer just like, whoosh. Um, so concealer has a tendency for me to, um, crease no matter what. So when they tell you it's a creaseless concealer, you can look them in the eye and say, you're full of shit. Um, the only time a concealer will be creaseless, um, is if you literally have no creases on your eyes. Like if you have the smoothest, tightest under eye possible. That's the only way you're getting it. Um, we're gonna move into doing the rest of like my face and my under eyes. So I did do, I used the Riviera palette. I used Estate and Bahamas just to do a quick, simple look. So I'm gonna go back in there and just touch up some, some spots on my face. So back to what I was saying. Um, so no, I don't think you can get 100% crease-proof or crease-less concealer. So I like that he doesn't like advertise like that is what it is because it is not. Like even on his video, he was like, you know, it's as crease-less as you're going to get. Um, but I really honestly don't think it did terrible. Like it did maybe a little bit. And I did all that bronzing and stuff afterwards. So I definitely gave it more than enough time to crease, um, and it didn't. So I really like that a lot. Um, I really, I don't prefer it on the eye. Because like I said, when I did my eye, it kind of like turned out really weird. <sighs> this palette, all of the ABH palettes, just making a mess. I will have you guys know, I've not been wearing lashes either. I've been wearing this collab mascara because I've like loved it, but also, <laughs> because my allergies get so bad at this time until like June that I cannot stand it. So I can't really, I'm, I can barely wear mascara, let alone lashes because I'm like trying not to dig my eyeballs out of the socket. So we're now going to be doing our highlighter and blush and I'm going to be using these Moda Mythical Pro Makeup Brushes. It's like Six Piece Frozen Flight Kit. You can pick it up at Walmart, I believe, or their website. I actually was sent this for free um, for review, and I have a code with them, but I wanna see if I like their brushes before I share my code or anything with you guys because I don't want to 
I don't want to promote something that's crap. So I want to try it first, but I want to be honest with you that I did get these for free. I did not pay for them. So bear with me while I open it. Ooh. So we have a blush brush. And then we have a precise contour brush. Ooh. Highlight and glow. This is actually, this reminds me of the Morphe one, but it's just a bit bigger. And then we have the eyeshadow brushes, which I don't need. All right, so we are now going to go into the blush, and I'm using the Makeup Geek XOXO. I got this a long time ago. So here, it's just a little tiny one. And here is the color. It's just a very pretty pink. And I'm using their multi-purpose powder brush. So I will tell you, they're very soft. I like it a lot. I know it's synthetic, and this is really cute too, but again, you can't really take these to do people's makeup professionally, because then they're like, bitch, what is that? Is that a unicorn? An icicle? It's just weird. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my face. So this is the highlighting brush, and it kind of reminds me of the M510, I will not lie. And I'm going to go in with Uranus, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, and I believe... This was a collab with Manny, whom I like. Speaking of highlighters, I don't know if I said it, but I have his highlighters, and I'm going to be reviewing them soon. So I'm really super excited. So I'm going to go in. Oh, girl. These brushes, I don't mind at all. I think they're very soft. Um, again, kind of kid-like, but they're cute for display. Uh, but they're really soft. I would definitely say... They're definitely softer than Morphe's brushes. Like these are more like tough, like a little bit more like a uh, gritty. What's the word I'm looking for? Put it down below. But I definitely feel like these get like a better coverage. So these are gonna work if you don't wanna spend a lot of money or you just want like a quick collection of brushes. So I do like that and I think I might, I might become an affiliate. I don't know, affiliate just sounds like too much work. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, I love doing this and I have a lot of fun, but the word affiliate is like, <sighs> so basically you want me to push this down people's throat and I don't wanna do that. So I don't know when those gonna work out, but stay tuned, I'll let you know. This is actually one of my favorites. This is I'm Shook, also by Jeffree Star and well, Manny, MUA, I think. So all in all, I am a fan. Um, I use a lot of actually Jeffree Star products today, but this is not a sponsored video if I have to say that. Um, I am a big fan. I do really think that these were worth the $44 I paid for them. $22 is really not bad. Um, the only concealer that I really, really enjoy that's super cheap is gonna be ColourPop, but uh, there's still some negatives that that has that I kind of just like stray from. Um, but this consistency I feel like is for everybody because I don't like lightweight concealer. I like pretty much full coverage concealer, but it's buildable. Like you can really, really, like I got to the point where I was like, okay, I need to turn this down because I've now built it way, way too much. <laughs> um, so I do like that. It doesn't crease a lot. You, saw, you guys saw that I did all of that before even setting it. And I really had no issues with creasing. You are going to get light creasing. That is normal. It is a natural thing. If a concealer does not crease on you, thank the heavens, okay? Because um, I've never really had one that doesn't do that to me. So, again, the only negative I would say would be the packaging. Um, I'm not the biggest fan. I think it's cute. But, again, we're looking at not just a collector standpoint, but more of, like, makeup artists who might want to, like, grab the whole collection because there are 30 different shades. So, you have to think of it in that aspect i just think that this might be a little bit too childish um other than that i like that it stands up and it does stand up i've used, i put it when i was standing it up um i love the doe foot it's soft it does hold a lot of product he did say that um i think i'm gonna try to do another color because i don't really feel like this the really super yellow is my thing and then another negative is again this is very sharp um, I have stopped myself several times actually. So I, I maybe if I were him would have put a warning of some kind. Maybe he did. No. It did have a matte finish, which it is a nice matte finish. It wasn't dull. 
let me tell you, <laughs> if you guys are not new here, if you are new, you may hate me for this. I don't like the Fenty concealer because of how dry and matte it does like finish. I don't like it. I hate that it does that. Um, so I won't use it. It goes into all of my creases because it's too dry and just, ugh, it just feels like I'm wearing a lot on my face. Um, I would definitely say that this was my favorite of the two though. I really, really loved the way this smells. It's so unique. I don't think I have a single setting powder that smells like sweet. Like it's just amazing. And it smells yummy. Is this edible Jeffree Star? Because this pregnant woman right here, I might lick it. Might lick a little bit of it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but um, I think the packaging is a little bit cheap. But again, it, it is what it is. It, it was $22, which is right around the price range of setting powders within his category. He's not new to makeup. He has a very large company. So I do feel like that is something that he could, that is a price that is reasonable for his brand for him, for this product. I think this product is amazing. If you do not have this, try it. The concealer is good, but this was, it took me, it took me away. I am a little upset that mine was pressed badly, but it sits in my drawer. I don't really carry a lot of makeup with me. If I did, that would be a little bit upsetting because I feel like it could be wasteful because it is cracking there. Um, I do prefer this packaging over this packaging though because it's just a sleek. It does what it needs to do. It says who it belongs to. Like, come on. If you're not new to makeup, you know who this belongs to. I like the size of it. I think it's very easy to take with you. But other than that, I just, I really, that's what I love. This is my new, my new, I love you. This still does not be my shape tape. I have my shape tape right here, actually. I love Tarte shape tape. And there has not been a single concealer that has taken its place. So, well, the look is still going on. Um, we'll still keep trying. I think it's a good product. I think that if you get it, you are really going to enjoy it. Um, if you have it, let me know below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? What was your favorite, favorite, favorite quality of the product and why? And as always, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you if you are still holding on to the end to listening to my rambling, crazy, sick pregnant butt. All right, guys. So with all that being said, I will see you on Friday. I love you. I missed you. And I will try not to miss any more videos in the near future. Bye guys.